The fate of Ed Burke, once Chicago's most powerful and longest serving alderman, is now in the hands of a federal jury. Burke faces that decision after a six week trial on a 14 count federal indictment. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey was in court for jury instructions today and joins us live at the Dirksen Federal Building. And Megan, deliberations officially got underway this afternoon. Right, Jim and Marie, at about 2.15 today, they're expected to go until 5 p.m. The judge in this case read more than 350 pages of specific jury instructions, and that process took more than four hours. Now, the fate and the legacy of the former 14th Ward Alderman is being decided behind closed doors. Here's a look at Burke this morning. Entering the Dirksen Federal Building, nine women and three men will now determine whether Burke will be convicted of corruption. The instructions mostly had to do with Burke's alleged actions and what specifically about his actions or intentions would constitute him being guilty or not guilty of each count. On Friday, closing arguments wrapped up in this case. Burke's defense team calls this case thin and asks the jury to let common sense prevail and bring back a not guilty verdict. Prosecutors in the federal case say the crimes that happened here occurred at the intersection of power and opportunity. Burke is facing charges including racketeering, bribery and extortion. Most center on allegations that the former alderman used his power to leverage business for his private law firm. Today, two alternates were let go. They were told not to discuss this case and the judge said because they've had so many issues with illness that they should be on standby until they get a call that a verdict has been reached. Live at the Dirksen Federal Building, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Jim and Marie. Megan, thank you.